to hear about. Rule number 10, be precise in your speech. Interestingly, I'm pretty sure that Peterson wasn't just talking about like the length of, you know, your sentences. So he said, oh, you really use short sentences and be precise. I think he was more talking about being more upfront with the things that you're saying. So I, I could have this wrong, but from my memory from this one, he more said that we should be precise in the sense that if there is something to say, we should say it as fast as possible instead of waiting around and holding our tongue. When something bothers you and you get this thought of something, you know, like it'll be, there'll be a thought in your brain of something that you need to bring up to this person. You know, they've maybe upset you, they've disrespected you, or you need to call them out and you know, you know, you need to like challenge them a little bit. You need to tell them that something bothers you. You need to do that as fast as possible because a lot of people hold their tongue. A lot of people People, just stay silent. Holding your tongue and not being upfront with you know the things you need to say to someone often leads to long-term resentment. It means a lot to me. Maybe it would for you, especially when you start dating. When you realize that you're dating a girl who's kind of holding something in her mind, and you know she's unhappy about something, and she won't be able to open up to you and tell you. You realize how negative of like a personality trait that really is. Like she's listening right now. <laughs> you want someone to be precise. If there's something that bothers you. Speak to me as fast as possible. Imagine if my girl doesn't, right? Imagine I've done something that pisses her off or something. And, you know, she's a feminine woman. So, of course, her, her moods go all over the place, which is normal. And, you know, it's my job as a masculine man to kind of weather the storm. But imagine that she feels unhappy with me for some reason. But then she doesn't, she's not precise with her speech and she doesn't bring it up to me for some time. Well, then she spent 12 hours being unhappy with me. And that's not right. It's not right for her if she feels negative. But it's also not right for me because now I'm thinking, okay, my girls just felt negative about me all day. It's like, that's not a good thing because eventually, you know, marriages go on like this where both people hold their tongue they're not precise with their speech they just resent each other maybe you can relate maybe you see this with your parents they've just got this resentment for each other for the last 10 years and you know why it started because your mom was slightly pissed off that your dad came home 15 minutes late 10 years ago and sl she's built that slightly resentment imagine this like little bit of resentment is inside of her for 10 years and it's never been dealt with she was not precise with her speech and did not bring it up to him so they didn't resolve it. And then another thing, oh, one time he was a little bit rude and he didn't say thank you when he made food. And another thing, another thing, people hold up so much built up resentment. And in the end, this absolutely makes people so, not hostile, but just, you know, like passively aggressive to each other. Eventually they just don't even fucking like each other. You probably see this with your parents and it's so fucking sad. I wish you could just tell them like, why don't you just bring it up? But now it's too late. Now it's like, how's she gonna bring up? How's your mom gonna bring up? Like, oh, your dad came home like 20 minutes later. He said he'd be home at like 5 p.m. But he came home at 5.15 uh, in 2010. <laughs> you can't bring up something that old now, can you? But it's like, you needed to bring it up straight away. If there's something in your mind that needs to be resolved, you must do this. And trust me, I have been so bad with this. There's been times where I've needed to like have a conversation with someone, you know, say something like, okay, that wasn't right. That was disrespectful. Or even to girls to like break up with them and stuff. And there's been times where I've just dragged on that conversation for so long, even with firing people. I've fired a couple of employees. And even with that, it's like, I'll drag it on for an extra week, two weeks, three weeks, months sometimes. I've literally dragged on firing someone for months. And that's just making me resent them that now Anytime they submit some work, I'm like, you know, be, just being pissed off towards this guy. I should have just done it fast. If there's something that you need to bring up with someone, be precise.